brother, look at me. Brother? Brother? You right, brother? Brother? Oh, it's Tom, was it? Oh, yes, I'm just uh, taking my leisure, Tom. Having a bit of a, a ponder. <laughs> having a snooze. Mm, yes, I, I think I did doze off for a while. A, a combination of uh, old soul and old age. Uh, are you cold, Tom? Oh, a bit, brother. Hmm. Water's getting a bit cold now for swimming. Won't be any more swims this season, I'm afraid. Water gets so cold it can freeze you to death. Oh, I'm freezing to death. Well, uh, run along with you. And... See you, brother. What are you going to do to me? Nothing. I won. That's enough. Come on, Scrace. There'll be no hot water left. Avert your eyes, you lot. The eyes are the windows of the soul and must be protected. You must be on guard against all your senses at all times. You're preparing for a brotherhood that requires you to take stringent vows. Poverty. Obedience. Chastity. Hear that, Ellen? Chastity. If you're to carry them out, you must train yourselves now to turn your backs on worldliness, to purge yourself of temporal temptation, to practice self-denial, self-examination, self-discipline, so that you may be worthy of the call to be amongst God's chosen few. Come on. How long will take you to ruin it? Two hours. You're kidding. Carry on, brainstorm. Then one night, I discovered that Jane went with a man behind the chicken houses. Oh, what? What you make a sign, is it? Oh, that is digest.
Quality is a virtue, brother. <coughs> Good morning, Chip. Good morning. How much longer than the boys, Bill? Only 20 minutes. I'm afraid I've been late. I've got a rush. Wet the bed again, Ellen. Yes, brother. Did you drink at dinner last night? No, brother. Are you sure? Yes, brother. Hurry up and fix them. You'll be late for mess again. Yes, brother. replied the Lord with a sigh. But I should like to know whether you have any idea of the meaning of those words, punching ball. <laughs> <laughs> My knowledge of the English language is not improved, Lord, replied Don Camillo. Gives us 2x. Let's subtract those. x squared from x squared. No remainder. 2x from 4x. Gives us 2x. Let's bring down the 4. Let's try that. Now 2 times x gives us 2x. 2 times 2, 4. Bring that across. Subtraction, x squared from x squared. No, remain. Alan? Alan? You're an idiot, Alan. What are you? What are you, Alan? An idiot, brother. <laughs> right, oh, that's enough. Come on, Westerway, you're no better. <laughs> right, page 41, everybody. I want 10 answers before the break. Come on, get to it. Who the hell do you 
you think you are? But he was away like shove off a shovel. Come back, I yell, waving me hurly stick at him. Come back, you good for nothing coward. <laughs> between Alan and a crocodile. A crocodile makes his bed in a river. Yeah, and Alan, Alan makes, makes a river in his bed. <laughs> Hiya, Tom. Hiya, mate. That's the school's pride for you, Alan, eh? At your age, Smith, you... Uh, may have noticed certain changes are taking place in your body. Hair growing in places it wasn't before. You may have been having what are called Wet dreams. Do you know what wet dreams are? Yes, brother. Have you experienced them? <laughs> well, these changes are called puberty. It's, uh, no, it's nothing to worry about. Just your body is growing into manhood and you're experiencing for yourself one of the miracles of life. Who was the more embarrassed? Them or me? Have you finished with that, brother? <laughs> I don't envy you, brother. No, I don't think it's necessary. Oh, neither do I. We're not Jesuits. Excuse me. Well, you're certainly not. <laughs> yes, if I'd wanted to go into theology that deeply, I'd have become a priest. Priests and brothers, they're all the same. Slow eaters. My point is that if you've dedicated yourself to the religious life, then that's what you should do. There's no one more dedicated than the Irish. But there's never been an Irish Pope, has the father? You're right, Mrs. Sullivan. That's the luck of the Irish. Yes, it is too. <laughs> luck of the Irish. I've got a lot to learn about teaching yet. But you're teaching religion also. Well, that's a bit unfair, Frank. Not everybody that goes into business wants to be managing director. Uh, not every politician wants to be prime minister either. That's laziness or lack of ambition. Oh, come on, Frank. Well, I think all God would require of a man is that... He does what he feels he can, the best he can. Here's your sweets, brother. We've got more than enough to do anyway with university courses and study. And I've got more than enough to do than stand around all day listening to this nonsense. Have you finished with that, brother? Oh. The mind should be fully occupied. Discipline of the mind is the most important right. facet of religious life. Yes. An undisciplined mind is the devil's the devil's <laughs> Not Miss Greggs. Oh, come Miss on. Miss Greggs. Oh. Hey. You got here yet? A little. So have I. 
Funny stuff. What's it for? Oh, no. You should see Tonkin. I reckon he cuts it to make it go faster. <laughs> Tonkin's warped. Oh, Tonkin's it's gonna fall off. <laughs> he never leaves it alone, you know. <laughs> it's embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Keeps swelling up. Won't go away. <laughs> You should leave it alone. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> hey, you seen the honey? No. Oh, he'd be smooth, I reckon. <laughs> you seen Mickey Smeal? He wouldn't have any. Oh, he would, I reckon. Well, Aunt Thomas has. He's only 12. I reckon he would. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't mind seeing Smeals. <laughs> the other night? No, what? Pretended he was sleepwalking. Nothing wrong. <laughs> it was sticking right out. <laughs> he tried to climb into Johnson's bed. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. <Yeah. laughs> hey, you want to wrestle? Devil's playground. <laughs> well, I wish you'd play in somebody else's ground and leave me alone. You ought to try Arnie for a change. But you wouldn't have a hope. That guy is so pure, he makes me feel like St. Augustine before he got religion. St. Augustine. Hope for me yet, Jim? Oh, there's Sebastian talking to young Alan again, confusing the poor little blighter. We ought to keep them apart. He's too impressionable, that Alan. He tries. He's got the right feelings. He's an untidy little bugger, though. He's constantly got an erection. Talk about sex rearing its ugly head. Just about rears him off the ground permanently. Sex. What about you, Jim? Young blood in the prime of his pulsings? What tricks do you use to keep your bolter at bay, eh? Jim? Well, not just at the moment. Look at that bloody fanatic. Pardon me, brother. Would you mind explaining where you've been the past three days? And certainly, Brother Cillian, with three big-breasted blondes <laughs> in a brothel in Burke. <laughs> brother, really? <laughs> hey, Francine! Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> if you were Francine, what would you be doing right now? I'd be crawling behind that hedge like vermin, trying to catch you rats imitating my <laughs> mental deficiency. <laughs> that is a lot of Gets us all in various ways. It's not natural. It's not bloody natural. Chess, Victor? Mm, chess. Thomas! 
Fitzpatrick. Turner. Riley. Smith. Allen. Thompson. Westaway. Mahoney. Good news? Yeah, great. I got good news too. I've been accepted in the Sodality. Have you? Yeah. Not much hope for me there. That's because you're always late. I can't help it. I'm supposed to be at the woodyard now. Well, hang on, I'll come with you. I've got something else to tell you. It's all based on St. Magellan. Your hands is a founder. This order started the same way, with, with just a handful of men. Hans wants to be a special order. Dedicated only to prayer, meditation and penance. The mind will be the master. We've learned how to isolate pain. Sort of separate it from yourself. We want to achieve purification of the body and soul. To experience ecstasy like Magellan did. The true religious experience. Discipline. Control. Concentration and meditation. Look over to go. Fitz will kill me. Well, keep it quiet. We don't want anyone to know yet. Most of them wouldn't understand. Right. See you there tonight then. Righto. Just as William and mate, nobody else would put up with you. Keep the damn thing straight, will you? Don't push back. Just pull. Pull. That's it. Pull. Get the rhythm. That's it, Tom. The last week you're cutting anyway. Thank God for that. <laughs> Just pull, that's it. What are you going on to? Do you repair? Gardening? Hair cutting. Hair cutting? Tell me, eh? You thought you'd be your first customer. <laughs> Not on your life. Come on. Oh, through. And what's the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut? Yeah, I know. Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks too cold. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, while I think of it, I could tangle it up with that Turner bloke either. He's nuts, you hear me? Go on, that's enough. Nick off to hockey, I've had you. Thanks, Fit. See you later. See you, Fit. Oh, come on, Come on, Come on, bring it back. Come on, 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 help me! Come on, bro! Come on! Come on, bro! 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 Come Rules are rules, and they've been rules for generations. Discipline of mind, body, and soul is... It doesn't happen in ordinary teams. colleges. This is not an ordinary college. It's the fact that the boys always have to keep their bodies covered, even in the shower. They stimulate unhealthy interest. <laughs> oh, come on, aren't you with all that bone? No, it's not natural. It must breed sick attitudes. You know... They've already made the dictionary a dirty book. Who's been teaching you? It certainly wasn't me. Well, it is. Slightest bit of titillation has transformed into pornography. They have smutting minds. Well, they are undergoing immense physiological changes now. Strange things are happening as far as they're concerned. Oh, oh, it's a bit stiff. Obviously, they are more than conscious of sex, because that's what it's all about. Sexual awakening, ripening. Oh, great shot. God, it's on your side. Oh. And they want to know if it's happening to others. How can they? It's also secretive, covered up, whispered about. It's unnatural. Uh, well, uh, 
It's a breeding ground for bloody poofters. You've been there, Frank. We all have. So stupid. Makes it all so unnecessarily important. Uh, yeah, come on, you've got to set up. We'll it? change the rules. But they weren't made for no reason. Break the discipline. Masturbation. Don't tell me you think they don't masturbate now, Frank. They shouldn't be here if they can't control themselves. They should be tougher. Keep their minds occupied. Teach them self-discipline. That's what the rules are for. Self-discipline <laughs> to train them, to resist temptation. <laughs> I think I'm going to need self-discipline to get out of this one. Brave, brother, brave. What's so wrong with masturbation, anyway? If you don't do it yourself, well, it comes out of its own accord. You know, for years I fought against it. All you learn is to hate your body. You know, we're all mad. Our religion is based on love. Huh? We spend the time hating ourselves. And another thing, what if God isn't there, huh? huh. We'll hate ourselves then, won't we? <laughs> Anybody care for a game of snooker? I've got to finish the game. It's terms of mine. <laughs> hey, our brothers, how's this for the power of prayer? <laughs> Purification, Tom. Come, bear your despicable body. Let us beat out your evils. Transcend pain with us to a true spiritual love. You bloody man! Stop it, brothers, quick! Secrecy, Alan. Promise, Alan. We'll cover you in bird's blood. <laughs> Secrecy, man. Alan. Promise. Someone's killing. Run. How's all the noise here? What's happening here? You all right? Oh, not them. I told you to stay away from those fanatics, didn't I? They ought to be stopped before they go too far. They're mad. Haven't got much to say for yourself, have you? You nut. Come on. I should do to you. And your body be just like your brain. Frozen cold. <laughs> like yours, you mean. <laughs> Wouldn't like to fall in. Wouldn't last 30 seconds in there. about dying fits? No. Hope I die in the state of grace. You. <laughs> state of grace. <laughs> you probably die playing with yourself. Could it, Fitz? Straight to hell. Fitz. Ah, <laughs> oh, you'll be right, mate. You're practically an angel, you're so holy. You're always in chapel. I don't know how you do it. I get sore knees and run out of words. <laughs> There's only so much you can say to someone who's not around at the time. What do you do? Say the rosary? No. Just think. It's quiet. You can think. Tell him my problems. Ask his help. Tell him my doubts. Do you have a doubt, Fitz? Sometimes. Hey, Scullin's gone, you know. Scullin? When? 
today. See him caught him out of class this morning. Told him to take his pen, and that was that. Four? What did he do? Don't know. He was a great bloke, though. Really keen, too. Must have been something. We'll never know. It's really bad. No explanations, no goodbyes. Just take your pen. Maybe he chucked it in. Lost his vocation. No, I never told him. Maybe he had trouble at home. Maybe. Should be allowed to tell us we're not idiots. Probably think he'll make us doubt. Yeah, cut out the rotten fruit before it contaminates the rest. Like a rubbish. I just think our vocations are pretty weak. Just take a pen. Send it. Ten minutes? You kept your leg on it for ten minutes. Yeah, look. Godfather, you're mad. Perfect meditation. With this sort of concentration, I could achieve any spiritual state. Ecstasy. Now I'll see if I oh. can endure a cold. Brother wants me. Be careful of Falderall and fanatics. You keep your innocence, Tom, and be true to yourself. <laughs> You've got a smile that'll take you halfway around the world, Tom. Don't you lose it. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, ought to be with my angel again. Slow down, you'll kill us. Oh, we don't want to miss the bounce. When you get to the footy four times a year. Coleman full forward? You bet. Great. Thanks. I can't wait to get lost amongst that crowd. Normal humans again. You normal? <laughs> Free! Well, almost. Hey, why don't you join us, Frank? Yeah, do you good. Have a bit of a yell, let off some steam. No, thanks. I'm going to have a nice, quiet day. There's a great exhibition at the museum. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll pick up at the post office, will we? Fine. What, about six? It will take an hour or two, knowing you. Any chance of you being sober? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Did you? Oh, you see that, you bloody man! Get off him, man! Kick it! Get rid of it! Play! Yeah! They say brother goes before a fall. I think he's hurt more than his pride. <laughs> Come on, the glory. Oh, hey, that was my nice case. Sorry. Oh, whoa, look at those. Oh, would she be shaved? I don't know. I think it's painted out. Sure, it'd be underneath. You know? oh, stop. Um. Oh, you little bastard, Ellen. Piss off! Piss me ball! Piss off! Oh, girl, give it to him, Westy. Piss me ball! Righto. Get it, piss the bed! I 
got it all worked out. What? The endurance to cold. Look. The lake. At night. Freezing. What a game, eh? <laughs> He's the best rover in the league. Hey. Cop that. Would you like to, uh... It's a refill, thanks, mate. Take it, these young blokes. A uh, drink? Uh. <laughs> well, what do you girls do for a living? Oh, we uh, work around the corner in the factory. I'm a secretary. Mad years in accounts. Be boring. Huh? Rather just uh, live it up a bit. Have a bit of fun. Yeah, a bit of fun. A few laughs, a few drinks. Meet some interesting fellas. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what do you do with yourself all week? Oh, I'm a school teacher. Oh. So you uh, need to have a bit of fun yourself then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, how do you, uh... 
what, what do you... About time. God, Jim, they were serious. They nearly had me. It's the last time, Jim. I promise. It's the last time. Frank will be furious. It must be really late. Sober up, man. Yeah, okay. Okay. Just too close. Just close, Jim. Few bruises, yeah. Back's a bit sore. Car must be a mess. Oh, yeah, you should see it. It's gonna cost us a fortune, I'm afraid. You don't look too good. It's funny, I feel wonderful. <laughs> How are the others? Oh, brother James is all right. Francine's rather badly shaken up, I'm afraid. We saw him go inside a minute ago. He looked a bit strange. He didn't even well, say He probably hi. didn't see us, dear. <laughs> probably. It's Tom. Well, I better leave you. Goodbye, <laughs> brother. Uh, have a nice stay, Mrs. Allen. Thank you. Adam. Hi, Tom. Hey, Hi, Tom. This lot. Mm -hmm. My golly, he's grown, isn't he? Uh, yeah. How are you? <laughs> what do you think about your mum staying, eh? That'd be good? Of course, like. Two weeks. Right. You went over to the guest house before and had a look at it. It's really good, wasn't it, Dick? Auntie Mary's due to have a baby soon. Might be twins. Twins? Gee, I think so. She's rather large, isn't she, Dick? <laughs> like a mountain. <laughs> Here, do you have one of these? Something to keep you going. Bye. Yeah, the lucky devil. Have you? A new one? No, she was the old one. Fix it up. Quite happy with the food. I may always dance the anniversary waltz with you. F minus 32 multiplied by five nights. He steeped himself in the rationalism of the Enlightenment and the romantic philosophy of Rousseau. And you'll note it starts in a circle at the top. Those of you that listen to me in French class will know it is called a sick bum. This is Brian Anderson. Brian's just out of an accountancy. Hi. Hi. And this is Nigel Ryan. Nigel's an actor. A resting actor. Hello. Hello. And over here, Miss Doyle. Hello. And Miss Weatherhead. Hello. He's handsome, isn't he? Take after his father. Of course. And Miss Doyle and Miss Weatherhead are in charge of the girls who are here on the Christian... Christian Fellowship Association. Quite a job they have, too.
you be missing out on? Could it, Lynette? I think so. Aren't you a bit young to know? I'm in full school. Oh, it's because your bright doesn't mean to say you know everything. Quit it, Lynette! You're only 13. Well, I suppose it's better you than me, that's all I can say. You won't be able to get married, have a family. There's a lot more to life than that, too. Vocation is a special thing. It's hard to explain. Not many people are lucky. Lynette! Lucky? Hang on, Nigel. How did you get your vocation? Did God send you a letter or something? I'm sorry. It's during benediction. It's hard to describe. Sort of carried away by the the atmosphere. Yeah. I want to be more involved. One thing about the Catholics, you know, their services are pure theatre. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that, Nigel. True. <laughs> You've had it. I'm going to get you. Now. Brother? I can't hear you. My voice has dropped, brother. Are you sure you're not dropping it deliberately? Yes, brother. Yeah, well, very good. Right. Uh, we'll take it from the third and fourth lines, boys. You ready? And one, two, three. It was Oh, come on. Come on. Why aren't you singing now, eh? Come on. Good morning, boys. Good morning, morning father. father. I'm sorry, Father. I didn't see you there. Welcome back. Oh, it's good to be back, brother. <laughs> good. Well, all ready for the retreat, boys? Yes, yes, sir. A retreat is a time for meditation. The silence isn't a hardship or a penance. It has a purpose. It's there to rid you of all distractions so that you can think and concentrate, so that you can examine yourselves thoroughly. <coughs> Three days silence isn't a long time when you consider the benefits. In the days before the retreat, I'll be available to talk to. As you can see, I'm quite a friendly chap with quite broad shoulders. So <laughs> if there's anyone that has any problem he'd like to speak to me about, feel free. I find it hard sometimes, Father. I'm always in trouble for being late, being untidy. But you're trying, aren't you, Tom? I am trying. I'd like to meet the sedality of Our Lady if I can. Well, trying's the important thing. Keep trying and pray to God. He'll help you. I spend a lot of time in chapel, Father. I noticed that, Tom. That's good. Anything else worrying you? Any problems you feel you can't talk to anyone about? No, not really. You don't sound sure. You can talk to me, you know. That's what I'm here for. To help. Nothing really. You have any temptations you find hard to handle? Bad thoughts, say, or no more than normal, Father. <sighs> Do you have trouble with them? Um, playing with yourself? 
No, Father. That's good. I believe you have a problem with bedwetting. I've got something here that might help. It's water from the shrine at Lord's. Lord's water? Really? At the uh, invitation of Brother Gerard. Oh, from Western Australia? Yes. The, the little fellow. The red hand. That's right. It's extraordinary. I've known him for years. I was stationed with him in Western Australia. Yeah, you know, six years ago. He runs a marvellous community. Yes, I wouldn't get away with much with him, though. He's as tough as nails. <laughs> He's got a great sense of humour, though. Remarkable man. Yes, he certainly is. He's the reason that I became a brother. Oh, really? Mm. He used to teach me when I was at school. I thought he was wonderful. You're a bit edgy tonight, Frank. My word, I'm edgy. I very nearly lost my life because of you and your weakness. An experience I could well have done without. Oh, let's not go through all that Excuse again. Excuse me. Well, we were having a pleasant evening. I don't think Father Marshall should be subjected to our family squabbles. Sorry. Please, please, treat me as one of the family. I enjoy it. Oh, I should think so, too. I mean, where else would you find such wonderful uh, company? <laughs> Intellectual, witty, talented? <laughs> <laughs> that was a rather nice piece you were playing then, brother. Perhaps uh, Father Marshall would like to hear some more? Marvellous. Yes, more, please. How are the studies, James? Oh, managing. <laughs> managing? He loves it. He's going to do very well, I think. You really love all this brotherhood, don't you? Yes, I do. I belong here. Part of a community. Oh, I've got my weaknesses. <laughs> Who doesn't? You know, there's a lot here that troubles me. A lot of things I don't agree with, but oh, well, I'm a grass reed, I go with it. Hopefully I can affect some changes for the good. I'm good with the boys. I don't know, it's a pretty hard thing to explain, really. I'm off to bed. Good night. Good night, brother. Hello. Maybe it's because we're one big happy family. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, would you like to come for a walk with us girls? Do you mind, Mum? No, go on. Fresh air will do you good. Great, see ya. Brian, Nigel. What, and I'm just about to move in for the big destroy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Okay. I'm not a very good letter writer, though. I am. Okay. Look, you better pretend you're my cousin when you write. A check all our letters. 
Would you rather I... No. Please, Rob. Bye, Dad. See ya. Bye, son. Bye, right, son. See you soon. Be good. Just like ordinary water to me. Father Marshall gave it to me. What for? Cure my problem. What? Whacking off? Wetting the bed. What do you do with it? You put a drop on your tongue every night and say prayer to my love. Your tongue? You should put it on your dick. <laughs> Stop all the pissing and the pulling. Shut up, Fitz. The weird and the whacking. Quit it, Fitz. <laughs> Flowing in the floor. <laughs> Making that row. Now get on with it. Where's the milk? Look at those peelings all over the place. You two boys, you can't do anything right. Keep still. This better be good, Alan. Don't worry, it's beautiful. You're my first solo. It's got to be beautiful. Ouch. Sorry, forgot to keep the clippers going. No, next, right? It was a little, I'm fixing up, won't be long. Take your time, it's only been half an hour. Keep still. There, perfectly straight, no nicks, look. It's beautiful. Oh, hell, Alan. Oh. Without exception, death will come to each and every one of us. The clods of earth will rattle on each of our coffins. The body we pamper will become a city of corruption, a horror under the earth. Our own mothers could not bear to look upon it. If we are saved, our bodies will rise again free and glorious when Christ comes. But if we lose our battle, with temptation, we know what our agony will be forevermore. We shall be awash in the burning rivers of the dead forevermore. The stench of hell, of the rotting flesh of the damned, will fill our nostrils forevermore. Our ears will resound with the screams of the tormented forevermore. Our pain will be like the pain of a man tied down, unable to move, while one fiery worm eats at his vitals. The man screams for unconsciousness, but there is no unconsciousness in hell. The worm eats and eats, and its work will never finish, but continues forevermore. And what does that forevermore mean? Imagine a sphere of metal vast as the sun. Imagine that once every 10,000 years, a sparrow should visit it and brush it with its wings. When that ball had been worn to nothing, we would still be in hell. We would still be the howling damned who do not see God's face.
the retreat has begun. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's one week since my confession. Father. Yes. Father, I... I'm yes, come on, lad. You don't have to be shy with me. It's not easy, Father. Well, what's the matter? Have you been abusing yourself, have you? No good trying to hide it if you have. It's more than that, Father. Don't be so ridiculous, lad. Whatever it is, tell me and I've done with it. I... I've made 17 bad confessions and 119 bad communions. You what? How could you? You're imagining it. Stop wasting my time with your silly scruples and let's get on with it. It's not scruples, Father. I've been abusing myself and I haven't confessed it. Rubbish. What are you talking about? Why? Because I was scared, Father. Scared? Scared of what? Scared of you, Father. Scared of me? Why? Rubbish. How often do these acts occur? Two or three times. Two or three times a week. You better get a hold of yourself, my lad. A day, Father. A day? You're wasting me time. You're too old for this sort of nonsense. I'm going to absolve you now, and don't you be coming in here with such nonsense again. Scared of me, indeed. You'll be saying three decades of the rosary as penance and praying to Our Lady to keep you pure. And stop telling me lies. Say the act of contrition now and be off with you. Quick. Oh, my God. Ego absolve him. Sorry for I having offended you, and I detest all my sins.
<laughs> I am sure you all have a great future ahead of you in the religious life. If you've used the last three days wisely and well, then the retreat should have been of real value to you. It should have helped you to gain confidence in yourself and strength in your vocation. But it must not end there, of course. That's about all. I've enjoyed being with you. I'd give my right arm to stay longer. By the way, boys, if ever you become missionaries, never say that to a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> Name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, amen. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which of thy bounty we are about to receive through Christ our Lord. Yes, Tom. Would it be all right if I write to my brother? You haven't shown any improvement at all. The doctor says it doesn't help. Makes it worse. Makes me more conscious. We've been through all that. But it's a feast. The others will think I'm stupid if I can't have a... Offer it up as an extra special penance, Tom. But brother... Off you go, Tom. Tom! That way. James isn't looking. Thanks for your fits. You see it? Want some, Tom? Come on, Tom, have some. Forbidden. What's the matter? Not allowed. Getting cool. What are you doing? You too. I've got to do you. Oh. Oh, no. ah! oh squeeze. Oh, harder. How is it? Oh. What now? What else? Nothing. This is it. You're kidding. Don't you want to be pulled? What? Pulled. What's that? You rub it up and down till stuff spurts everywhere. Spurts what? White stuff. I don't know. No. If 
you do it, do it properly. I've never. For God's sakes. It could be dangerous. I've never. It's too warped. We'd better stop. Just what I expected. Can't handle it. You haven't got a single clue. You're a miserable prick, Scrags. This letter to Miss Cochrane, Tom. Is she your cousin? A relative of any kind? No, brother. And what says love, Tom, and these kisses? I always do that, brother. It's like starting a letter off with dear. Mm. Well, I think you'd better rewrite the last page. And I think this had better be the last letter. Troubles, Tom. Some a great deal worse than yours. <coughs> you must stop worrying about not being perfect. Nobody can be, so stop worrying about it. Otherwise, you will have a nervous breakdown. Life here troubles you too much. Give it up. A lifetime's a long time to be unhappy, Tom. Hang on to life, Tom. It's supposed to be God's gift. <laughs> Some gift if it's just a misery. Enjoy life, Tom. Make up your own mind about it. And don't be obsessed by rules and regulations. Ah, half the rules they make here are unnecessary and unnatural. You must do what is right for you. God himself said, be for me or against me, but don't sit on the fence. So he that is tepid, I shall spew from my mouth. Or, or words to that effect, anyway. <laughs> <coughs> Me back to my room, would you, lad? It's a bit far from old me. All right, time's up. Hand your papers across to the center. Come on, hurry up. Where's Turner? He's missing. Missing? Yeah, they reckon he's done the boat. Turner? You've learned how to isolate pain. Now I'll see if I can endure cold. I'm going to swim at the lake. The lake? I didn't take any notice. I thought that... Uh, thanks for telling us. God, I hope you're wrong. He was convinced he could get across the lake. He had some weird ideas Take about... Take it, Tom. Take it. Yeah, and further under, eh? Further under. Come here, you two, will you? Come on, hurry up with those blankets. See if you can find me some long poles over there. Shane, over the top and come back round. Jackson, keep moving. Here, you boys, over there. Move right round there. That's right. Keep looking.
Secret society. New religious order. That's not all. Homosexuality, sadism, masochism. Really sick. How did you find out? Tom Allen told me. I couldn't believe it. Gave him a pretty bad time, I'm afraid. It's a preposterous story. My God, what have we done? Rules. Too many bloody rules. You see, Frank? It can't be true. It's true, Frank. We questioned everyone, didn't we, Arnold? It's quite horrifying. The whole thing has got to be changed and soon. It's just a few rotten apples, that's all. Get rid of them, it'll be all right. You'll see. Much more of a problem than that, I'm afraid. There's too many bloody rules. There's too much protection. There's too much isolation. They're too introverted. Nothing of the world, and they got no chance of finding out. Everything out of proportion. It's medieval. It's worked up to now. Has it? Well, look at us. There's nothing wrong with us, is there? Suggestions, some good ones too. Really helped clear the air. He spoke of the possibility of combining the junior as part of a normal boarding school. Yeah, they really liked that idea. I think they realise it'll take a while, but at least they know something's being done. Well, I must be off. I've got to see how the concert preparations are going. They seem to be doing all right now, judging by the noise. Take care, my friend. Oh, what's this? For breaking the record for the shortest broad jump, <laughs> Thompson. <laughs> Have to go on a diet, I think, Jack. <laughs> God bless you. The 1953 Open Sprint Champion, Fitzpatrick. Run <laughs> by the grace of a long nose, I'm told. And brother Victor's keen eyesight. <laughs> Congratulations. It whispered to me that you're wonderful, beautiful, heavenly, and that you're mine, dear. Again, Kathleen, across the ocean, wide and wide. It's his favourite guy. His best friend dies, so he sings. How damned Irish. He's happy. He knows now, so... He always knew. He could see right through us. He knew all our weaknesses. I hated his dotting, doubting senility. I hated him, but now I know I needed him. I need him now.
sit and watch the moon He loved to sing. And watch the sun go down on Galway Bay. Oh, he loved life. He loved life. <laughs> well, he loved death. He couldn't stand them. Well, he doesn't have much choice now, Frank. So let's remember what he did love. Sebastian! Sebastian! Sebastian. <laughs> I hate life. I hate it! It's evil, sick, despicable. Flesh, the body. What use of rules and discipline? Control the body, despise it, dominate it with your mind. Hogwash! The body dominates the mind, clogs it to the very corners. The body doesn't lose, it simply misses out. The body won't be denied. The body won't be denied. It keeps on fighting, but the mind, it loses. Wins the struggle, but loses everything else. What else do you think of, Vic? Your mind's a cesspool of desire. You, Jim, even you, Arnie, I bet it gets you too. Sebastian knew. He's lucky. He's out of it. We're not. We're stuck with it. Give in. That's the only answer. Give in or lose your mind. I've got a damn good body. Nobody's looked at it for years, let alone touched it. The body beautiful. The body innocent. It's done nothing. But the mind, it has, it has, it sinned, oh how it sinned, twisted, cowardly, perverted, disgusting sins. I hate life. Hate it. Well, what's the matter with Sing, damn you. Go on, sing. Francine's left the order, you know. I thought he'd just gone to hospital. He did. He cracked up, apparently. I'm not surprised. He was really warped. Warped? He was around the bend. <laughs> like you, he had sexual problems. Oh, funny fits. But he is first woman. When he unloads that lot, he'll probably drown somewhere. What'll he do? Teach, I suppose. Pity the poor kids that get him. He'll probably be worse than he was here. He'll have trouble. Eighteen years he's been a brother. Good bit of a shock to him outside. What a life. Really worries me. I don't know if I can do it. Could end up a nut like Francine or a piss pot like Victor. Victor's all right. Can't be perfect. There's no chance of me being perfect, mate. It's the girl. Can't get him off my mind. Hannibal, looking out, sees what he would take to be the normal square Roman phalanx, just like that, you see? This time, Scipio has made little holes in the phalanx like that. So that when the elephants attack and they come across here, they go straight down the centre. They take the least line of resistance, see? Uh, uh, would you uh, favour us with your attention, please, Alan? Alan? Oh, yes, brother. Thank you, Alan. 
So, in come the elephants. Where's Fitz? He's gone. See, we called him out of class. Told him to take his pen. Go on. Liquidate him. Just... What did he do? Who knows? Probably had a cupboard full of wolf magazines. I can't give you his address, Tom. Wouldn't be right for you to be in contact with him now. And harm your vacation. You have different ideas now. Different ways of looking at things. You can put bad thoughts, unnecessary thoughts, into your head. So I know he was your best friend, Tom, but... Uh, well, it's best if you think of him as dead. You pray for him, Tom. That's the best thing you can do. Why? Nothing's right. They muck up everything. Hey, God! Are you there? Where are you? I pray, I ask, I try. But where are you? Where's the help? Come on. Show me you're there. Answer me! Answer just one prayer, even! I want help, damn you! Where are you from? Melbourne. Long way from home. Been visiting a school friend in Moody. How old are you? Thirteen. Bit young for rich hiking, aren't you? More fun than the train. Don't look like you're having much fun to me. Well, this is as far as I go on my way, son. Thanks, mister. Right. Thanks a lot. You're running away, Alan. Get in, come on, get in. I don't want to. Come on, we're going your way. Hurry up, come on, or we'll miss the curtain raiser. Couldn't get a lift with a nicer couple of fellas, Tom. You all right? Yes, thanks, brother. I knew you'd do it. Said you wouldn't last, didn't I, Jim? Hey, what do you think of our civvy? He's pretty classy, eh? Think we look human? <laughs> yes, brother. Hey, why don't we take him with us? What, the semi? Yeah. Like to see the semi-final, Tom? Oh, yeah. Right, oh, you're on. Don't worry, we'll ring your folks and run you home afterwards, eh? How about that? Keep Jim off the streets, out of temptation's path, so they say. <laughs> Keep you out of the pub, off the ground. Oh, no <laughs> worries. Tom's dad's good for a couple. He likes a drink, doesn't he, Tom? Oh, I reckon. Hey, Colm, we fall forward. Yeah. I'll give her the gun. Yeah, right. Oh, what are we wasting our freedom for? We haven't got as much time out here as he's going to have. 
Hang on to your hat, Tom. 